through posted school zones can claim victory tonight. The latest speed checkpoint led to an arrest and dozens of citations. Mike Holfield is back with the video and the surprise twist. Mike? Yeah, hi everyone. The school zones you suggested impact elementary and middle school students. Now listen, we knew we'd get violations. We never expected reckless driving and an arrest. Orange County deputies say the driver in that Ford F-150 was driving recklessly, peeling his tires as he darted through the school crossing zone for Chickasaw Elementary. To me, that's nothing new. I mean, today has been a good day. A good day? In less than 30 minutes, motor deputies issued seven speeding citations, most nearly doubling the speed limit. Yeah, it's early in the morning, a lot of stress. You just weren't thinking? I was not thinking, man. This is my bad. This woman was clocked at 47 miles an hour. She wasn't talking. She was on her phone at, uh, at the time going through the school zone. So she, she had no clue that she was in the school zone, although she lives in the area. Aside from the potential risk to kids and crossing guards, the fines can be expensive. One to nine over the limit, $154. The faster you go, the higher the fine. 30 over or more is mandatory date in court for the driver. Next stop, Curry Ford Road and South Chickasaw Trail. Driver after driver was stopped for either not wearing a seatbelt or flat out speeding. This man was clocked at 47 miles an hour. Sir, did you know you were, you were in a school zone? I saw the light, I jammed on my brakes. I don't, he said I was going faster, but I, I jammed on my brakes the minute I saw the blinking light. I don't know where it starts and where it ends. And this guy's 55 coming through here. The driver in that gray Nissan claimed he didn't know it was a school zone. It didn't matter. He was hiding something. He's got a pattern of not following the rules of the road and getting caught several times. Roy Douglas Johnson was caught again. He's a convicted habitual traffic offender. Deputies arrested him on the spot. Um, he initially tried to pawn himself off as his cousin, but we were able to confirm that that's not who he was. Now what? Jail? He goes to jail on a felony count. Johnson was booked two hours later. Records obtained by Local 6 indicate his license was actually revoked in March 2009. Under state law, a habitual traffic offender can't apply for a license for five years. So the local six viewers that gave us this tip, it actually paid off even more than we expected. Yeah, we didn't expect to take an habitual traffic fender off the road today, so kudos all around. And this effort with local six viewers will continue into the new year and beyond, folks. Already Orlando police, Seminole, as well as Orange County Sheriff's deputies are working with us to crack down on these speed zone offenders. And so far, it's the home run ball. We're really working oh, yeah. on this. Yeah. Well, this seemed worse than the first school zones that you hit. Yeah. What is the uh, the latest on the driver who was it, arrested? I didn't think anything was going to top the left one, Lauren. Uh, unbelievable. The guy is out on bond awaiting a court date. We just checked on that. The schools were Chickasaw Elementary and Liberty Middle School. So far, we've received 25 tips on Facebook. And listen, I'll be on Facebook again tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. So, folks, keep them coming. This is a win-win. You're yeah. working, we're working, and it's a great outcome. Yeah, and that one zone, seven tickets in 30 minutes. Yeah, wow. and he wow. said, good day. You know, it, it, sometimes it's worse than that, and that's what we're concerned about. So you keep calling us, hit the Facebook, we're going to work with the police and get these people to think about it. There's kids out there, let's keep them safe. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Good yeah. job. Thank yeah. you, Mike. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mike.